Hey guys, how's it going? Everyone good? Everyone present and correct? So, um, yesterday I was really struggling to get hold of any IRS scammers. They are my favourite to mess with because just the, the gall of the whole scam that they do, I just can't believe it. It's literally like putting someone's arm behind their back and forcing them to go to a cash point with the whole iTunes gift card stuff, which is why yesterday I made the uh, Getting Gay With Tech Support Scammers video. Do check that out. Um, there's kind of a long introduction. Again, I'm doing another introduction. Sorry, guys, I apologize. There's a reason for this one, though, and you'll find out in just a moment. But yeah, go and check out Getting Gay With Tech Support Scammers. I found it very funny. I was trying not to laugh during the call. Um, I'm not, the, the guy kind of seemed quite into it, which was uh, a little bit worrying, but anyway, there you go. Um, so yeah, that was yesterday's video. Um, anyway, I, I was really struggling to, to get hold of any IRS scam, especially because I phone from my Skype phone. I've always got a withheld number, so they're starting really not to answer these. Um, but however, so I was kind of looking for sort of some other type of scammer to mess with. And lo and behold, what should enter my email this morning? Uh, but a message from the BMW Lottery Department. Now, this is the reason I'm making a little intro here, because before we get into the call, I haven't made the call yet, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm going to read you the email so that you, you know, you've got the full backstory as to what has led up to this. So... Uh, here we are, uh, 9.35 this morning, I received an email, BMW Lottery Department from BMW of North Carolina, America, LLCA, uh, 109 Chestnut Ridge Road, Woodcliffe Lake, N NC, um, and the uh, zip code 27253, United State, not the United States, the United State of America. Now this is what the email said to me. Now remember this said BMW Lottery Department. Okay, maybe I've won a BMW, that's kind of believable. This is to inform you that you have been selected for a prize of a brand new 2016 model BMW 7 Series car and a cheque of 5.5 million US dollars. I mean, the BMW is nice, but you would think the more important part here would be the 5.5 million dollars. Anyway, so yes, from international programs held on the first, second section, 23rd of May, 2016, in the United State of America. Your email address was picked from our international programs, same thing again, on the 23rd of May. The selection process was carried out through random selection in our computerized email selection system, ESS, from a database of over 250,000 email. Well, aren't I the lucky one? The BMW Lottery is approved by the British Gaming Board and also licensed by the International Association of Gaming Regulators. I'm sure it is. I doubt either of these companies actually exist, uh, but there you go. To begin the processing of your prize, you are to contact our Fiduciary Claims Department. For more information as regards procedures, not regards to, just regards procedures to claim your prize. Fiduciary agent is Mr. Dennis Lynch. Uh, click and reply and email Dennis Lynch. Uh, then it tells me that I need to send them my name in full, my address, my nationality, my occupation, my direct phone number, my present country, my email address, and the PIN code number. I mean, we can't forget the PIN number they've given me, which is BMW 25512560023. At the end, it's signed off by doctor of all people dr ban ki moon now i'm not sure if he still is but this guy used to be the head of the united nations uh, obviously he's got some time on his hands perhaps now um so dr ban ki moon the director promotions not director of promotions just the director promotions bmw lottery department united state of america so this is all sounding very official still can't get over the fact that the, the title was you you've won a bmw and then halfway through, they suddenly decide to tell me, I've also got five and a half million dollars, which would probably buy me about 40, maybe more of those BMWs. Uh, anyway, so great, I thought. So I sent a little email back to them. Uh... Ooh, hang on one second, guys. Where's my reply email? 
Hi, right, here we are. Good morning, Dr. Ban Ki-moon. I must say how happy I am to have won this wonderful prize. My name is Ivor Massivecock. Went for that name again, although uh, you'll see in a minute. Uh, my address is 768 Cedar Court. This is a very British address, however, in Beverly Hills, 90210. No surprise there, it's my favorite zip code as it's the only one I know. Uh, my nationality is Russian, although I am now a US citizen. My age is 38, so I've added a few years on there, although you might not believe it with the grey hair. And my occupation is animal inseminator. Uh, my present country is the United States, and I've sent him the PIN number, of course. Uh, I told him, I'm actually switching phone and internet providers, so to proceed, could you please give me uh, your phone number so that I can contact you this afternoon. I can't wait to claim my pros. I've misspelled that, what well, I would like to say, on purpose but actually I've only just proofread this so I didn't actually do that but that, that's probably helping anyway uh, I can't wait to claim my prize thank you so much kind regards I have a massive cock uh, so yep yeah, then they've replied to me again uh, thank you very much for your message this is to inform you uh, You've been selected for your BMW 7 series, blah, 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 five and a half million, the selected blah, 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 this whole thing again. Um, I'm, I'm apparently I have to speak to the Office for Human Developments and the Directorate for International Relationship of the United States Ministry of Finance, taking power from the Bank of America to transfer your awarded fund amounting the sum of five and a half million United States dollars into your account, the United States Ministry of Finance had mandated the Bank of America to credit your winning fund five and a half million dollars in your account. The beneficiary's responsibility. Ah, uh, who would have thought there was going to be some kind of small print? We wish to bring to your notice, but by the virtue law, you are required to arrange the sum of 250 US dollars. Well, I'd say for five and a half million, that's quite a small price to pay. For the World Bank authorization, stamping code for the transfer to avoid stopping or delaying. This is your sole responsibility as we have ran off all the domestic bills from different ministries and offices to secure your outgoing order for your fund, its documents. Kindly look for the fee immediately so that I will inform you how you will make this payment as you are filling the form. Do not overlook this as it is your right to secure your fund. Kindly give this instruction a consideration before filling this form. Uh, then he says, very important notice, please do not fill the required data for re-verification and payment plans. If you know that you cannot afford to pay the World Bank authorization certificate charge $250 because that is the only expenses left for you is your responsibility. We had, we had undergo all the regional domestic expenditure here to make sure that all government legal status were met. So kindly take note. Again, he's asked now, not just for my name and address, but my bank account number, my bank SWIFT code. I guess this is an American thing because well, I don't know what a SWIFT code is. My state of province, my direct mobile phone, next of kin, and my date of birth. Uh, obviously, you can see the English isn't great in these emails, so I'm pretty sure I'm not dealing with, well, whatever one of the six company names they've told me. Again, I've replied, dear Mr. Moon, thank you so much. Could you please provide your phone number so I can call this afternoon and obtain details to make the authorization certificate charge to? Once again, thanks. I have a massive cock. Uh, so excellent. So um, thank you for your urgent. This is his reply. OK, Mr. I have a massive cock. Thank you for your urgent. Get back on us. Sounds a bit gay. Uh, Please below is our office number, but should in case you call and we were not in chance in taking your call, you can as well text us. I think he means we were not in, not we were not in. Uh, so anyway, I'm about to give these guys a call. I'm not sure how my Russian accent's going to sound, guys, but uh, I hope I don't know how this is going to go. This is a new one for me uh, dealing with the 419 scammers. But we'll see. I don't know. Calling from my Skype phone, they might not answer at all. Um, let's find out, hey? So I'm going to pop you on pause, and hopefully I'll be speaking to the Director of the United Nations in just a moment.
text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hello, yes, this is Mr. Massive Cock. Uh, I am just calling in regards to where I should send my, my money f uh, for the, the certificate for this uh, prize that I have won. Would it, uh, I have one small problem and that is uh, I do not have any proof of your identity. So I was thinking if it would not be too much trouble as I believe we will have a long and prosperous friendship. If you could please send me a, a picture to my email address that we have corresponded from earlier with a sign that says, I love Mashiv Cock. This would, uh, this would make me very happy and we would be able to proceed with the payment. Thank you very much. I will try to call you again later. Again, Mr. Moon, thank you very much for your time and I am very happy to receive your prize. Alright guys, so it's clearly a text phone. Um, now, uh, pff, my Russian accent kind of slipped into, I used to do a, like a Latin accent and it sort of in the middle slipped a little bit into that, so I apologise about that, it needs a bit of work. Um, hopefully I'll answer later, so I'll keep you guys posted. I'll put this up now, we'll call it part one, and if there is some more information, uh, maybe he's on to me with uh, me asking for him to, to send me a sign that says I love massive cock, but you never know. I'll keep an eye on my email and I'll keep you posted. Anyway guys, stay tuned for more uh, scam baiting videos. Or well, That's another thing. Um, I'm kind of thinking of renaming this channel. It's probably not a good idea to have my name on it anymore. Uh, my mum said she's worried about a hitman coming after me. I very, most of the people I deal with are in India, and I very much doubt they're going to spend their, their money sending a hitman to where I live. But uh, it would be cool to have a name that more represents what this channel is about. So if any of you have any ideas, please leave it in the comments. That would be wonderful. Um, again, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye.